Hey guys, I'm Rachel Bomasino, remote Cal Strength athlete and coach, and we are here today to talk about the jerk. And this is Brooklyn Shaw, who's going to be demonstrating for us. Dave always says that everybody can clean, everybody can snatch, but only champions can jerk. The jerk being the limiting factor for a lot of people, we're going to take a look at the footwork today. If we don't know we're supposed to finish the jerk, how are we ever going to get there? One thing I like to do, scoot back, Brooklyn, is draw Murray's cross on the floor when learning footwork and I'm gonna have her jump and split to her footwork okay and I'm probably gonna go ahead and mark her feet Oops. and good um, a lot of people like to measure out from that point like one and a half feet forward one and a half feet backwards so you can do that like I said, a lot of times I might just eyeball it um, and then mark the feet, but whichever way works best for you. I'm going to have Brooklyn put her feet back on those lines, and we're going to take a look at this. Some things that we want to be looking for in our footwork, we want everything stacked. I want her shoulder over her hip, hip over her knee as much as possible, core is tight and engaged. For her feet, we're going to want a slight internal rotation of definitely our back foot, maybe even our front foot. We want to anchor this back foot first when we do our footwork and always have them recover with the front first coming back. She's getting a little tired there, so we'll give her a little break. <laughs> Another thing that we always want to talk about is our hips. Okay, we don't ever want our hips going forward or backward. If you pretend that your hips are like a bucket of water, you don't want any water spilling in front or behind you. So we just want everything going straight down, okay? And that torso needs to stay straight as well, okay? And the dip is just like the power position, okay? For our snatch, our clean, the bar's just up here now. Good. Notice that we're not on a balance beam. We want a lot of surface area. That's part of the reason that we have the box down because we want our front foot in this quadrant, our back foot in this quadrant. So we have a little lateral spread going on. Another thing that we need to always look for, a big common error is the front foot might not be reaching out enough. So really encourage your athletes to reach the heel, the front foot out. I want to see that shin bone at 180. So check for it from the side. So if we continuously drill our footwork and we really get into good habit of where our feet are supposed to go and our body knows every time, that's going to increase your chances for making a lot more jerk successful and getting more heavy weight over your head. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to tune in next week.